everyone welcome back to femacy lighthouse thank you so much for being here with me once more on my channel for today only if you're interested in having half price for the 30 minute session please place your order today your payment must be submitted by today okay so if you want 50 percent off of the 30 minute session with me you can hit me up on ig you can send me a dm if you have my business line just hit me up Okay, I'll give you guys until 12 a.m. today to get that offer. Please join me at the Private Lighthouse on Instagram. The link for you to join can also be found in the comment section. The moon is in Aquarius today. Let's get started. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to energies that surround Taurus. What do we have? Talk to me about energies that surround Taurus. All right, so what we're getting here is the unseen. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You're not really seeing it physically, but I feel that intuitively you may be aware of what's going on. We do have the seed. So the seed indicates new ideas, some changes that will be made. I feel like someone could actually be thinking about having a seed or planting some type of seed. Somebody wants to spark something new. There's like this new idea that someone is kind of perpetuating. Someone wants a change, all right? They don't want to be the same way. They don't want to operate the way that they have been behaving in the recent past. Someone knows that there needs to be a shift in their energy here in the recent past. We also have the mother. Yeah, so somebody could be actually getting pregnant or planning on giving birth to some type of new idea. There's a new idea that someone is trying to create. I feel like someone is also trying to reinvent themselves, all right? I feel like you have already done that, Taurus, but you may have inspired somebody to do the same, okay? You could also be trying to get a new position, pursue a new career. There's a lot that is not seen right now, but I know that you could feel what I'm talking about, all right? So whatever it is that's coming to your intuition, I feel like that's what you should really follow through on, okay? You have concrete evidence. You don't need to see it. You are highly intuitive. Hmm, all right. Spirit, tell me more. Talk to me about the recent past. Energies that surround Taurus in the recent past, please. Energies that surround Taurus in the recent past. Who do we have here? We have somebody in this Eight of Swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius does not have to be an air sign, but somebody feels that they are trapped, that they are in jail. They can't stop overthinking something, and this person cannot move freely, all right? They're not able to be free. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords, this energy in the recent past for Taurus. The nine of cups it's like they can't have what they really want why is that somebody here feels like they are incapable of acquiring their wish with this pisces energy coming out here is somebody limiting themselves talk to me about this pisces energy we have the ten of wands they feel like it's too difficult for them to reach some type of goal or to be able to be around someone that they would like to spend more time with. They want more time with someone, but they feel like they can't because they're trapped, they're stuck. And so therefore their wishes are not fulfilled. They're not satisfied, okay? They're not satisfied at all, especially in this 10 of wands. If you are in a place and you have to feel like this, it's not worth it. You're just causing yourself more pain. There's more strife, there's more dilemma, conflict. Conflict eventually will arise if you are starting to feel like you cannot be free. And furthermore, if you feel like something is stopping you from acquiring your wish, there's going to be an argument with somebody, okay? Because eventually you're just gonna tell someone, look, I don't like this, I don't wanna feel like this anymore, and I'm out of here. Or there are some things that need to change. I feel like someone around you or yourself is in this energy of something has to change or I'm about to let people know how I really feel and I'm going to insult everyone. I don't suggest for you to insult everyone, okay? But I feel like 
if something is not done about this, then we are gonna get the buildup and then eventually it explodes. Tell me more. Who is this? Is this Taurus or somebody else? Who is this? Talk to me about the recent past. Is this Taurus or somebody else? These cards are all over the place. Is this Taurus? The Ten of Cups? So it's somebody that is making pretend that it's all good. So it's not all good over there. All right. In reality, they are the Ten of Wands and they are also feeling stuck or trapped and they're not really following through with what they wanted to follow through with. They may have some level of stability. There is a family dynamic there that I see, but it's not healthy if you feel like you can't move the way you want to move, that you can't speak to the people that you really desire to speak to, that you can't fulfill your wishes the way you would like for them to be fulfilled. Something like that is happening here. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present. The Nine of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Talk to me about that. Why the Nine of Wands? Why the Nine of Wands? I feel like there could be someone around you that feels that you're okay with something that they do not see as okay. I feel like someone could be judgmental or uh, trying to criticize something about you and you may seem unbothered to this person and that's irritating them. The fact that you may be nonchalant about something that you said, or it's just like you're carrying yourself in a manner of it's on your terms now. And so they don't feel in control of the situation and it irritates them. Perhaps this was someone who was very manipulative and they can't manipulate you and it's irritating them right now. Perhaps they used to manipulate you. They can't do it anymore. So now it's like they ran out of tricks. So this person could actually be someone that likes to be the dominant one, the alpha. You could be showing up as the alpha and it just has them in this energy of not knowing what you're up to or what your next move is because you're not predictable, okay? Lately, you definitely are not. Tell me more. We have Pisces energy coming out here. Talk to me about the present. Talk to me about the present. We have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is telling me that there's somebody in the present moment that could be critical of you, judgmental, yes, but in reality, they're still attracted to you. They wanna be around you. They wanna collaborate with you. They're still interested, all right? Tell me more. Talk to me about this Ace of Wands. They're sad, all right? This person is in the Five of Cups energy, but then they feel like they're not getting their wishes fulfilled. I don't know what they did to feel like they're not able to have their wish. I don't know what their wish is, okay? I know that they're in a place that seems to be very loving and warm and um, put together, but deep down inside, this person is broken. They're broken and they're sad about something that has to do with you they feel like you are unbothered by something and they may not like some of the things that you said but i feel like you're just being honest like you always are uh you may have reasons uh behind why you made such statements uh, perhaps this person should look at the things that they said to you in the past, right? So it's not just a one-sided thing, okay? I feel like they're in their feelings about the way that they have treated you and just feeling like they're losing their wish. That may be you. You may be this Nine of Cups that they feel like they are losing. But are they handling it the right way? 
If they're into you, blocking you is not going to help anything. If they want you, not communicating with you is just going to push you farther away. And they're only going to live in regret if they really want you deep down inside, but they're making pretend that they're happy when they really aren't. Right? Talk to me about the future. Talk to me about the future when it comes to this energy. The Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Tell me more about that. Tell me more. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Ace of Cups. The Ten of Cups again. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So in the future, someone's definitely taking a loss. And there's a lot of love there. We have the Ace of Cups, but someone is choosing not to face reality for some reason. They don't want to admit to something. I don't know what that is. There's someone around you that is making pretend. Second time this comes out here. They're making pretend like they are the Ten of Cups when they really aren't, okay? I feel like this person is actually the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. The person that you're dealing with probably has Earth in their chart. They probably have some type of Earth energy somewhere in their chart. Could be a Capricorn, could be you know Virgo, Taurus, Moon, whatever. They're taking a loss and they're doing it to themselves. And the more they do this to themselves, the more depressed they become because they're not being authentic to what it is they really want to do or who it is that they really want to be with because they care too much about what everybody else thinks. And that's a shame. And they're going to live with regret. That's what this is saying. Okay. Let's see what else we have for Taurus. Anything else for Taurus, please? Anything else? The orphan. You see what I'm saying? Like somebody is going to take a loss. Someone feels left behind. Someone feels that they lost you or that they're going to lose you. They feel lonely without you, okay? They need to just admit that. They don't want to be honest, but I see it here. Tell me more. Tell me more. And then we have the warrior. So I guess, you know, this person knows that you are the one. We have the one at the bottom of the deck here. They know you are the one. Let's be very clear. The problem is, you know, they, they feel like you're giving them a battle. They feel like you're giving them a hard time with this warrior energy, okay, coming out here. As you can see, right, there's your mascot. But the ego... Again, this is all ego with this person. I don't know what they're going to have to do to humble themselves, but they're too entitled. They're so entitled that it's taking away from their happiness. It's unfortunate. And hopefully um, they can pray so that they can resolve whatever internal conflict they continue to have. All right. So that's what I have for you, Taurus. To book a private session, all of that info is below. Take care.